next part of the brain stem or the uppermost part of the brain stem is the mid brain the above this mid brain you will get the diencephalon and below mid brain this is pons so the mid brain it is in between the diencephalon above and pons below and how to identify the anterior and posterior aspect in anterior aspect in the mid line there is a notch this one is a notch and ventrolaterally one convex appearance is there on both sides of the median notch but posteriorly here you can see the four elevations two upper and two lower upper one is larger and lower one is smaller they are called superior colliculi of both sides inferior colliculi of both sides and this is the cut section of the mid brain and here you can see one small opening is there can you see this small opening this one my fossa is close to the opening this opening is called cerebral aqueduct or aqueduct of silvius if i trace this aqueduct of silvius or this opening downwards it will reach here in this fourth ventricle here so this fourth ventricle is continuous above with this aqueduct of silvius here if i draw an imaginary line transversely on the line of the cerebral aqueduct there will be one ventral part and one dorsal part this ventral part this one it is called basis pedunculi and the dorsal part is called the tectum in the basis pedunculi anteriorly anterolaterally this one and this one called cross cerebri this cross cerebri having so many descending fibers or descending tracts they may be cortico spinal tract then cortico pontine or fronto pontine parieto pontine occipito pontine temporo pontine all are descending tracts by in the middle part of this cross cerebri the main fibers are cortico spinal and the cortico bulbar or cortico nuclear tracts are there and ventrally and dorsally there may be fronto pontine here parieto pontine and occipito pontine so all together all the fibers are descending fibers or descending tracts and just behind this cross cerebri can you see this pigmented area this one and this one that pigmented area is called the substantia nigra and this substance having two parts one ventral part and one dorsal part the ventral part which is cell core zone and this part is called pars reticularis but the dorsal part of substantia nigra it is the compact part where the cell reach zone and this compact part this pigmentation is due to the melanin pigment but the ventral part or pars reticularis it is rich in iron pigment besides this two parts pars reticularis and pars compacta there may be another part small part called pars lateralis and these two nigria substantia nigra they are not continuous in the midline cross cerebri also not continuous come more dorsally or posteriorly behind the substantia nigra of both sides you can see one rounded structure which is on other side of the midline behind the substantia nigra is called the red nucleus two large nucleus or red nucleus as there are there the red nucleus is about 5 mm on transverse diameter and it is red or rather pink due to the presence of iron content and also its vascularity but it is pink only when it is cut freshly so in fresh specimen of cut section of mid vein we can see the red nucleus is pinkish in color at this red nucleus it is very much important or conspicuous feature of the mid vein particularly in the upper part of the mid vein 
but in the medulla the inferior olivary nucleus and in the pons the pontine nucleus and in the mid brain the red nucleus they are the special features other than the liver and cranial nerve nucleus and you know behind this transverse line is a tectum so in front in front of tectum and behind the cross cerebri the central area is called tegmentum so there are three parts in the ventral sides the cross cerebri substantia nigra and tegmentum the three parts together are called cerebral peduncle do you know what is cerebellar peduncle there are superior middle and inferior cerebellar peduncle which are connection between the brain stem with the cerebellum but here it is called cerebral peduncle where the cerebrum is connected with the brain stem via the uh, mid brain so this is all together these three parts or ventral part is called the cerebral peduncle then in the posterior side if we see these two colliculi they are separated by a sulcus two inferior colliculi also separated by sulcus as superior inferior again they are separated by sulcus so if i join all the sulcus it will be a form of cross so called it is cruciform sulcus so cruciform sulcus is formed by this vertical sulcus separating the right and left colliculi and transverse sulcus separating the superior from inferior colliculi called cruciform sulcus these colliculi superior colliculi they are connected with the lateral geniculate body through this brachium called superior brachium and the inferior colliculi by this brachium this is called brachium can you see the brachium this is called inferior brachium more clearly visible the inferior colliculus then the inferior brachium up to the medial geniculate body so inferior colliculus inferior brachium mgb superior colliculus superior brachium lgb the lateral geniculate body it is concerned with the visual reflex and the medial geniculate body is the center for the auditory pathway around the central gray matter here is the central gray matter within which you will get the third nerve nucleus and from this the third nerve or occipital nerve the exit through the ventral side and come to the to the notch in between the two cross cerebri this is occipital nerve or third cranial nerve is one side and there will be another side also but the trochlear nerve or fourth cranial nerve which will be at the level of inferior colliculi the nerve will come out through the dorsal aspect below the inferior colliculi remember that all the cranial nerve from 3 to 12 they are coming out through the ventral aspect of the brain stem except the trochlear nerve or fourth cranial nerve which comes out through the dorsal aspect of the brain stem below the inferior colliculus and then they will take us it and come to the ventral side like this so this is the only exception and part to remember regarding the arrangement of fourth cranial nerve or the trochlear nerve important one is the structure at the level of superior colliculus and structure level of inferior colliculus but don't forget the presence of red nucleus which is in the upper part or level of superior colliculus but the cross cerebri and transverse nigra we will get at all the level maybe in the superior colliculi or inferior colliculi of the mid brain so all these about the features of the mid brain and this is the anatomical position of brain stem as a whole